What's up YouTube? Today's weekly video is going to be a quick one just going over some of the things that I've been working on and then just a paper that I found interesting from Microsoft. So with that, let's go ahead and then jump into it. So I have been working on the Style TTS Web UI. Sorry to you guys uh, that I've been waiting on it. It's been taking me a little bit longer to get through all of it. Did been run into some bugs, but I have it in a workable state. And if you wanted to go and get it downloaded, you definitely could. So this is the all the code and stuff for it. Um, and if you want to get it up and running, if you know how to install things manually, you can just head on over onto my GitHub page, which is the Style TTS Web UI GitHub page. And I've got all of the uh, manual installation instructions here below. Um, there are some requirements. You, It is Windows only, unfortunately. So if I do ever get to WSL, maybe I'll make it win, um, WSL slash Linux compatible. You need Python 3.11. You need the Git command tool, uh, VS Code. It's an optional or optional IDE. And then you need an NVIDIA graphics card with 12 gigabytes of VRAM at the bare minimum, I think eight can make it work um though i'll have to test that a little bit later so you can run through this and let me know if you run into any issues i kind of have a troubleshooting section down below here that i would like to update a little bit more um, as people run into issues with installation slash running it so just let me know down in the comments if you run into any of that and then the issues tab so um one thing with the issues is i am quite busy unfortunately so i know people um are leaving issues but i just uh, can't get to all the issues at the current moment. So hopefully you guys understand. And then last update is I do uh, plan on making a Windows package. And like I said in previous videos, this Windows package is going to be um, to my members only on the channel. And basically all you'll have to do is download the package and run it just very similar to the AI voice cloning repository um, in you know the tortoise videos. So that'll be available to my YouTube members and then I will be doing a special thing with this as well um, to YouTube members. I'll be hosting a live session. I um, don't exactly know when, but I'll be hosting live sessions um, on for my members. Just in case you run into any issues, you can ask questions so on and so forth. So that is going to be planned. Now, I will be doing a full tutorial on how to train, generate, and do all of that stuff with the Style TTS Web UI. So plan on recording the video tomorrow. Editing it should be done by Sunday or Monday. So just look forward to that video uh, for the full tutorial on how to exactly do it. But if you just want to play around with the uh, Web UI and get things running, the installation will allow you to do that. You just will have to uh, kind of learn the UI um, as you go. But it's very similar to the Tortoise uh, web UI that I have in the previous repository. So um, if you have experience with that, you should be good for the most part. OK, so the next thing that I've been working on is making a Beatrice data set creator. If you don't know what Beatrice is, it's a W Okada um, voice changer. It's basically voice changer, but it's a new model that you can train up and you can use. So I actually have the I've got the window open here. So let me just go ahead and start it. Um, I have this one set for um, Marine right now. And let's see if we can um, let's, see let's see if we if can, we can get, get this going. going. OK, okay. okay. So, so it's it started and I can change um, the pitch here. The other thing that is cool about the Beatrice model is that I can also let's let's um, change to a decent voice and let's bring it down to zero. And in this case, I can bring it to like a penguin zero voice. Um, I don't know actually how to speak um, like. Charlie, so um, I can change this around and maybe kind of get out of his voice sounds. But um, yeah, I can kind of change it to like a Penguin Zero voice. But I've got other models inside of here. Unfortunately, the Godfrey voice only has like two minutes of uh, training on. But the biggest thing that I want to get across is that you can change. Um, you can change, you can change what type of voice is being used inside of uh, Beatrice. You don't need to change up here. You just train it all into one model. And I think that makes it more convenient because you don't have to switch between um, voice models. It's very quick, so on and so forth. So just wanted to kind of uh, showcase this. Um, I'm still working on the process. 
and there are a lot of things that I still have to do for making the data set. But yeah, this will be up on my GitHub repository sometime, um, maybe early next week. Um, and this will allow you to make data sets that are compatible with training up Beatrice model, which is what I just demonstrated right now. And then the last thing that I wanted to go over is just a little bit of research from Microsoft. Um, that is E2TTS. So I found that there is a um, replication of this by Lucid Reigns for ET, E2TTS PyTorch. And the outputs of it are pretty, uh, pretty good. However, apparently it takes a lot of training to actually get this working. But I thought we could just listen to some of the examples here for embarrassingly easy TTS. So here is an audio prompt. Saw. But how did you make Mammy let her come? Isn't he splendid? cried Jasper in intense pride, swelling up. Father knew how to do it. So it's able to generate uh, expressive speech. And then here we'll take a look at um, at this example right here. So I was like at the um, grocery store and uh, I saw this like really yummy looking um, cake, you know, and I uh, uh, totally wanted to like buy it. But um, I was like on a diet. So I, I just like stared at it for a while, you know? So that has a lot of little, uh, I guess, like human um, filler words. And I thought that was pretty good. Not 100% natural, but it's way better than, let's say, let's listen to this voice box one. So I was like at the um grocery store and uh, I saw this like really yummy looking um cake, you know, and I uh, totally wanted to like buy it. But um, I was like on a diet. So uh, I just like stared at it for a while, you know. So definitely not as good. And I would um, definitely recommend that you take a listen to some more of these examples. But yeah, this was just one little interesting bit of research that I came across from Microsoft that has been implemented um, to where you can train a model locally. But um, this probably we won't see for a while because I've been reading that some people have been training on like 40,000 hours of audio on four A100 GPUs and the output of it still isn't sufficient. So I know Microsoft used a crazy amount of compute to train this one. So we might not see one soon, but I think we'll definitely see one uh, because the uh, implementation has been open sourced. And yeah, so not too much for this week. Definitely was busy getting the style TTS all up and going and then the um, working on the package and making sure all of that is in order so that um, uh, you guys can use it. So yeah, that's going to be it for pretty much today's video though. And uh, once again, you know, I'd like to thank all of you guys for watching and to the members of my channel. Thank you so much for supporting me. Very much appreciate it. And I'll see you guys later.